How are we destroy it? I need somebody to give me an answer. How are we destroy it as a people today? You have a clue? What about you, my brother? How are we destroy it as a people today? Can I say we're not living as a whole, as one? You know Right. Matter of fact, let's get that. Zephaniah 2 and 1. Zephaniah 2 and 1. You are, you are absolutely right, my brother. Read it when you get it. Sure. This is the book of Zephaniah, chapter 2 and verse 1. Gather yourselves together. Yea, gather together, O nation not desired. And my sister, you say you've been researching, right? So the Bible told us to gather together because we're a nation that's not desired. Right. When you go to our neighborhood, what do you find? Chaos, really. Chaos, a bunch of chaos. You find gangs, you find murders, you find drugs. You know? That's all in our communities. Matter of fact, what do they call the place that we stay at? Ghetto slums. The ghetto the slums, the projects. And as a matter of fact, no matter what city you go to, if I say, hey, take me to the projects, who am I going to find in those areas? You know? The so-called black people, right? And the Hispanics, too. But he said, look, hey, gather together, oh, nation that's not desired. Because if you move into a white man neighborhood, the value of that neighborhood goes down. You got to understand that. We are a nation that's not desired. Everybody else hate our guts. Right. They stole our history. They want to be just like it, but they hate our guts. Right. Because the one true God is only for us. Let me get Isaiah chapter 42 and verse 6. Yeah. Isaiah chapter 42 verse 6. He said, hey, gather together, oh, nation not desired. But can we come together if, if you believe in uh, Islam? If you believe in Christianity, you know. if you believe in politics, can we come together like that? No. You absolutely correct, my brother. You absolutely correct. Let's read it for him. Let's read it for him, because if we're not on the same page, think about the Black Lives Matter movement. What happened to that? At first, it started off for who? It started off for black people, right? But then you see the other nation missing in, uh, missing in among us, right? Then what? You got riots going on. The people that caused the most damage, it wasn't even our people. Right. They joined, they joined forces with us, like, you know what? But they, they caused a bu whole bunch of destruction. Even all, I think Michael Mann said it one time. You can have some, a cup of coffee, black coffee, right? You put too much cream in it, after a while you can't even tell it's coffee anymore. Yep. That's what happened to us. Be what you got. The book of Amos, chapter 3 and verse 3. Yep. Can two walk together, except they be agreed? So if we're not agreeing on the same thing, which is the Bible, Isaiah 42, we can't come together. Right. Because you might, you might believe, like, you know what? Islam is the way. Christianity is the way. Everybody can be saved. You might believe, okay, we got to come together and put our money together. It's not a bad thing, but look, we got to do it under the commandments of God. That's right. Read what you got. Isaiah chapter 42 and verse 6. I, the Lord, have called thee in righteousness. So he said, I, the Lord, have called all three of y'all into righteousness. What is righteousness? Living by his commandments. I like his answer because he on point today. Living by his commandments. Watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 25. And it shall be our righteousness if we observe to do all these commandments. So God said the righteousness of the Bible is keeping his commandments. Right. You think in our neighborhoods are we keeping God's commandments? We're not. All right, watch this. Let me get, let me get uh, Esther chapter 22 and verse 16. Because this is one thing. What, what, you said chaos in our neighborhood, right? What else do you see? What about the household? Who runs the household? The females. The females. You, think, you don't think that's out of order? Yeah, it's out of order. It's out of order, right? Yeah. Matter of fact, let's get 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians. Because yeah. okay, that's out of order. What about you? you? You believe the same thing, my sister? You think it's out of order when the female runs the household? You exactly he did do that. Read what you got. First Corinthians chapter eleven and verse three. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. So who is our head as men? Christ, Christ is. Watch this. Right. And the head of the woman is the man. He said, and the head of the woman is the man. Are both of y'all married? All right. So the head of y'all would be the spiritual men, the spiritual leaders that you right. have. Right. You looking at it today? Read. And the head of, and the head of Christ is God. So you got to order that breaks that the uh, the Trinity doctrine right. that Christ 
and God and the Holy Spirit all one. God, Christ himself said, I got a head. God is my head. Oh, then you got God, Christ, man, and woman. That's the order. Watch this. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoreth his head. So right now, if we was out here preaching the word of God with our actually head covered, we did, he already got it. He already got it. We don't, every time we pray or we prophesying, every time the Bible come out, we got to uncover our heads as men. Right. But for the sisters, it's the contrary. Watch this. But every woman that prayeth or prophesied with her head uncovered, dishonoreth her head. Right. But look, y'all didn't know that before today, right? So anytime you praying or you prophesying, make sure you got your head covered right. or you breaking the commandment of God. Right. Now let me get Jeremiah chapter 31 verse 22. Yep. Jeremiah 31 verse 22. Because how we said, the women run the household. The women get the best jobs. It's the black man that's at the bottom. If, if y'all agree with it or not, that's reality. But watch this. The book of Jeremiah chapter 31 verse 22. How long wilt thou go about Oh, thou backsliding daughter. So God is speaking to the nation of Israel. He said, how long will y'all go about, oh, black, oh, y'all backsliding daughter? Read. For the Lord hath created a new thing in the earth. A woman shall compass a man. So we just read the order, how the order, how the, house, how the household should be. But he said, a new thing in the earth, a woman is going to uh, surpass a man. Right. She's going to use authority over a man. That's incorrect. Right. A man should lead his household, and a woman should lead the kids. That's how, the, that's how it should be. But what happened when we have the women running the household? What happens? How do the children raise up? Out of order. They raise right. up out of order. Do you agree? What about you, my sister? Do you agree? Isaiah 3 and 12. You got it? The book of Isaiah, chapter 3 and verse 12. Yep. As for my people, children are their oppressors. As for his people. Who is his people? The Israelites. He said, as for my people, children are the oppressors. Who, who, who we have today that's breaking their cars, that's doing the killing, that's gunning down each other? Who is that today? Is it the older men or the younger generation? The younger generation, they are ruthless. They are reckless, right? Read it again from the top. As for my people, children are the oppressors, and women rule over them. And he said, and women rule over them. So look, if you take the man out of the household, automatically that household is going to be filled. Right. Because what? We have women today. They love to say, look, I'm a strong, black, independent woman. But you won't be created if it wasn't for the man. Right. Ain't nothing wrong with you. The way you be strong is being, uh, being submissive unto the man. That's how you be strong. Because think about this. We can't have a strong nation without the women. Can we? Can we, can we procreate? We cannot. So we need our women to come back in order, but right now we are calling the men. Because once the men get in order, the women are going to fall in line. Right. Once y'all see that man in unity, the men in unity, they be like, you know what? These are some strong black leaders right here. I can get down with them because I know they're going to guide us the right way according to the commandments of God. Right. Let me get our Ezekiel chapter 31 and verse 34. Because yep. this is what we're out here doing right now. We're telling you, my brother, and you, my sister. We're going to go with some commandments of God as well. And I got some questions for you because you say you've been researching. We're going to go to the commandments of God and see if y'all want to change our life according to that. Watch this. Oh, 34, 34. Ezekiel chapter 34, verse 21. Verse 31. And ye, my flock, the flock of my pastor, are men. So God said his flock, the flock of his pastor, are the men. Right. Now watch this. Let me get Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. Yep. Because I gave him one commandment, and you know what he, you know what he did? He said, uh, I'm going to take it off. Is that, is that hard to do? Taking your hat off your head while, while the word coming out, is that hard to do? That's not hard, right? Watch this. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So it gave you, it gave you two things, right? It said, woman shall wear what pertains to a man. And a man should not put on a woman's garment. What is a woman's garment? Hmm? Dresses. Dresses, skirts, things of that nature. If I was in here up here in a dress, speaking to you like I'm speaking to you right now, would you listen to me? <laughs> you wouldn't, right? Yeah. So look, we're the top part of again. The woman shall not wear that 
which pertaineth unto a man. So what does women wear today that pertains unto a man? Pants. Pants. Romans chapter 7 verse 14. But look, have y'all learned that's the wrong thing to do? Y'all have it, right? It, be, it, be, it became okay. If you look back in the slavery days, our, grand, our foremother wore dresses back in slavery. Right. It's a new thing on the earth for a sister to wear pants. Right. But read what you got. The book of Romans, chapter 7, verse 14. For we know that the law is spiritual. He said the law of God is spiritual. It's spiritual. What happened when the sister put those pants on? Get up. Huh? You disobeying God, you breaking God's commandment. What else? What type of spirit does that bring upon you? Watch, let me help you out. If a woman say, if a woman say, I wear the pants in this house, what that mean? That's more like a corrupt spirit. More like a it's corrupt. But think what I just said. If a woman say, hey, look, I wear the pants in this house, what is she telling to the man? She the man the she the man on the house. So when the woman put them pants on, it bring that manly spirit upon them. Just like when a brother wear a dress, they walk all feminine. They don't even, they, they, you don't hear the bass in their voice. It's like they, they, they change, they, their tone is changing. They walking with their, their wrists all hanging and broke. But the same thing for the sisters. So if y'all put pants on, Y'all gonna walk around with a manly spirit. Right. Let me get Esther. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.